We pranked a professional golf tournament. What's going on here? Is there a remote control <gasps> ball there? Run! Run! You got this, man! You're probably wondering why I have him in this situation. Well, this is a series where I've done some of the craziest things with the UK's biggest prankster, Nick Amalana. We are both putting each other through four unbearable situations to see who will go through or who will fold first. We're doing all this to answer the question, who is the biggest menace? And the winner is... And now we're good, chat Jesus, bro. Why you always spam that SpongeBob? They even a four months buckaroo. Well, back on my escapade in the most racist town in America, I ran into one of the UK's most popular pranksters, Nick Amalana, and I just smelled the menace inside of him. So I challenged him to a competition to see who was gonna be the bigger man. Yo, chat, I'm about to get a plant. My bad, I shouldn't have paused for that. <laughs> But my brain be having the most random thoughts, bro. I'm sorry. I'm so Henry sorry. DJ, thank you for five months. The menace off. <laughs> yeah, Sid challenged me to this menace off. And to be honest with you, I was just using this as an opportunity to get him deported so I never have to see him again. <laughs> Back in Paris, Nico had me put up something somewhere. So now that it's my turn, I want Nico to put something somewhere. I want Nico to put his balls inside of another man's hole. But not just any man. Rory McElroy's. Okay, so I How see the thing pull that off? this whole cinema is completely empty. Shush. I wanted all of this to play out like a movie. So to make sure that happened, I ran out of movie theater and had him watch the greatest movie of all time, Happy Gilmore. This is my country, my damn country. Give me my country, you can keep the rest. This is my country. Nah, this country is dangerous, bro. Don't be a thing if it don't pass the test. Another job. Hey, bro. Hey, my UK brethren. Y'all nigga watch Happy Gilmore, bro? Or is that just like an American thing? Because everybody I know has watched the movie. But I don't know if niggas around the world have watched. No. A white ass movie. It's not a white movie. It's fucking like. Yo, bro. It's Adam Sandler. Nigga, anybody can get behind Adam Sandler. What the fuck? I have no, nah, hell yeah, shit's mad funny. Jade could have just simply explained the plan, but instead he made me watch a whole two hour movie before he let me hear it. Happy Gilmore, one of the greatest golfers of our time. <laughs> I want you to be great just like him. So, the plan is I want you to go to a PGA tour, one of the most highest and prestigious honors any golfer can be bestowed upon him. Not only do I want you to participate, I want you to win. So, I have equipped for you a remote control golf ball. You're gonna go to the 18th hole and hit a hole in one against one of the go to golfing, Roy McIlroy, a four time major tournament champion and one of the greatest of all time. I'm not gonna I lie. absolutely despise that Mega Mind merchant Jid. He wants me to mess <laughs> with the PGA Tour, hey. which is a major event and high levels of security. And they were never gonna be happy if a scrawny guy like myself decided to get involved and interrupt midway through. You usually don't see too many black people at a PGA tour, so to make sure no suspicion was raised, we went to our nearest dicks to go undercover. Bro, I love this store. It's my favorite store, bro. We're, We're getting ready for the PGA sure. tour. Bro, they got ghillie suits, guns, bow and arrows. They got Nike sweatpants, basketballs, boxing gloves, like literally every fun thing you can think of, bro. The crossbows. They got like hunting bay, Fishing rods, nigga, they have tank tops and winter clothes, bro. I can't say the name of the store because niggas get immature and be like, oh, so you like, uh? But like, this is literally my favorite store to walk into. Swear to God, bro. His dad's about to play. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. What do you say? Yeah. You got home? Just remember this, right? I'm out. What do you say? What is it? Yeah, there you go. There we go, my guy. Thank you, man. <laughs> we looked apart. We hopped in the car, drove over to the PGA Tour, scouting around to find the perfect hole for Nico to put his balls in. But this golf 30? ball looked a bit Bro, shoddy, so mean? before we could scout out the location, we needed to run a few tests on our amazing golf ball. What I'm about to do is a run through with this ball, and let's see if it works. Well. I'm glad I tried that. You know, if that happens, Whoa, I think I'll have a heart what? attack. The first thing I noticed about this golf ball was it would split if I rolled it in the wrong way, which isn't a good thing when I needed to roll it on the green. I'll just end up placing it down here. And then, 
This is going to be painfully slow. Nah, that's the, that's the fastest it'll go. The second thing I noticed was it was painfully slow and the ball did not move in a straight line. It was super jaggedy. I just walked on. Stop, Rory. This is how you do it. Oh, little spin, come back and I oh, lost connection. I can't believe it. And the final thing I noticed was the ball had a very, very limited radius, which meant I had to be close to the ball at all times. Just what you need in a very popular golf tournament with a lot of fans <laughs> watching. You see, I knew there was going to be a few problems. So that's why I hey, set ZBK, a whole day for us months, to just plan man. everything out. Because if we fix all the problems that day, whenever it's time to do it, it's going to be a recipe for it. <laughs> all right. Yeah! <laughs> Success. With all the new information that we gathered on the ball, we then made our way over to the 18th hole. How the fuck is he gonna pull it off with all these restrictions? Actually work. Oh my gosh, there, there we are. Our first golfers. So here, we're gonna go up there. We're gonna be sitting down. We're gonna try to get as close as down as possible. Then you're just gonna just throw it down right before, you know, he tees off. Then you're just controlling this hole. I mean, it was the perfect plan. That we couldn't use, because if I were to drop the golf ball from that height, it would have definitely split in half, which meant the hole 18 was out of the mix, and we needed to find a new hole. You good, Jack? Nice to meet you. Good, okay, no, I got a question. Is there another hole that has more people, or would this be the hole that has the most people right now? Hole 15? Still? I feel like just dropping, dropping it in isn't going to work. Then here, let's go to hole 15. He's Since hole 18 gonna, yo, was ruled out, this. we have to ask the young ones, what would be the best hole to perform this prank at? And that's when we realized that we had to start making our way over to hole 15. Yo, nigga, what do you think about this hole? Oh, it's pretty full, but I'm saying in terms of distance from there to there. The other side might be closer. Should we try it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that could. Yeah, bro, that's so easy. Where is it? There. You don't get this. That's cold. That is cold. Shall I be real with you, though? What? It means I have to chuck it through because it won't move through this. Chucking it that far, I could split. Because the cheap plastic golf ball was so bad, it meant if I were to throw the ball, it would split, which meant that if I was going to do this, I had to go onto the golf course, which meant we had to work out a way where I could blend in with the staff and get onto the golf course without too many issues. But, but okay, so if, I, if I'm doing uh, that... Ah, he's caught a thing for the three months. You know, wearing these, these bibs. I want to put it on the grass. What I'm saying is, you do it like, if, if, if I can get like one of those bibs or something like that, I can put it on the grass without anyone even flinching. Even at the very least, get one of those white shirts. That's what I was thinking. Put cream and then have a pass that just yeah. resembles that. Yeah, let's take a picture. We saw this security guard and we basically hatched a plan to take a picture with him just so we could copy his exact look. Excuse me. Sir. Sir. Can we take a picture with you? Please. A picture. Is it okay if we take a picture with you? A picture. We come from England, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got, is that, is that okay? Well, on this side or that side? Uh, Over here, that's fine. <laughs> Honestly, thank you so much. <laughs> Has anyone got a hole in one on this hole yet? Yeah. Seven inches. Uh, that was Michael. Was it? Michael. Of course. Of course it was Michael. <laughs> Rory? Of course it was Michael. <laughs> in no way it was Yesterday Rory. They put it in the water here. Did he? Yeah. Oh, wow. Had triple bogey. He triple no. No, he actually triple bogey. That nigga triple bogey. Well, that's a whole different story. <laughs> that's crazy. I can't believe you're even revealing that one. Wait, guys, stop! Are you a munch? You want to go on a date with Ice Spice? Hit that like button right now hey, and subscribe to my channel for a chance right to win a PS5 hey, dude, custom a and a date with Ice Spice. Hey, 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 hurry up! There's a lot of munching. Out there. Thank you, man. We got five missing stallions. We have to get them four items in order to get them on the golf course. We have to get a hat, a lanyard, a white polo shirt, and probably the hardest out of all of them, a PGA badge. badge. So the cook, item that we decided to go after first was the lanyard. Excuse me, Yo, man. I'm not gonna lie. If they pull this off, these guys are the best, bro. If they somehow pull this shit off, they are the best. Uh, just... By any chance, I see everybody walking around with lanyards. I love lanyards. Where can I get lanyards. one? You mean like one of these? I don't think they're like, selling them in the store. Oh, really? Maybe they are. Yeah. Try that. Try the merchandise tent. They have everything in the merchandise tent. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, Great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. OK, thank you so much. So we had figured out what we needed to get but close to the hole. But now we have to actually find the apparel. So we went over to the merch tent and tried to match it up exactly to what the volunteers had on. Damn. 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 During our time in the merch tent, we were able to get three out of the four items that we needed. Now all we needed to do was make the four. So. We headed back home, had Kowalski hop on Photoshop, make us a fake PGA badge, 
Now it's time to just get a maze. What's the name, sir? say. Yeah. That <laughs> is the name of my great grandfather. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, so thank you. And uh, yeah, honestly, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> the PGA Tour BMW Championship. My eyes are set on the GOAT, Rory McElroy himself. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens Nothing next. It's day two now. Nico literally has no excuse. We've done all the planning. He has the ball. He practiced with it. And he's in uniform. There was one area that we messed up, bro. Nico. I knew they, they changed it. I knew they were. Look, I can't zoom in, but they, they flipped it. Meet us in the back. Meet us in the back. Sometimes on major tournament they days, the they bag. change the hole from one side of the green oh. to the other just to switch it up. And we didn't count for this. So we had to change the plan. Remember when I said they were going to change the holes? Yeah. They changed them. Change the plans. Follow me. You're going to have to go in through that side because it's closer. If you go in through the side that we were thinking about going through, it'll take too long for the ball to get there. I won't lie, I was very nervous. Usually when I'm disturbing events, I'll do it when Yo, the Juan, event is finished. Months, and I'll have you. some type of reason for why I'm doing it in the first place. And with this one, there was no reason. And I knew they weren't just gonna let some random guy trolling their event get away with it. There was going to be consequences, but I still had to do it. And here we have McElroy locked in, ready. Yo, Bella, and bam, I know you McElroy wrapping up on hole shower, eight nigga. with a par. With only three strokes in, that's what we call a par in the world of golf, my friends. Rory has officially demolished hole 12. It's almost time. We're right next to the hole. I Rory McIlroy is about shit. to step up. There is only one thing to do, but there's a million things nah, that could go wrong. Bro. So go on, man. Nah, Let's just hope you do it. Just got... like that, though, dog. We're back up over. <laughs> that was so Thank you for the 20 gifted. Yo, so I appreciate you, man. Damn, that's 40 right there. Damn, Chad. What the fuck? Nigga, another tweet. Bro, y'all trying to punish me? <laughs> yeah, niggas is hilarious. Hey, bro. Thank you so much, so Thank you so fucking much, man. W's in the chat. What I do now is just wait for Rory to arrive. I'll take this off. And it's, it's time to go. Focused, keen, and aware. And he takes that take shot on the 15th hole. Hey, but if I play PGA, well, that Rory doesn't stream, it's going to be boring or what? That was Rory. He's got a green shirt for sure. Yeah. Rory had just gotten to the 15th hole. It was make or break time for Nico now. OK, Rory's here over there. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. As I walked away to get changed into my disguise, I thought to myself, this is it. The moment we all yeah. prepared for yeah. is right around the corner. Don't fumble. Bro, bro, go. He's about to finish. Go. This is one. He's one in the green. Rory's about to tee off and leave the 15th hole. This was our only chance. Is he going? Am I just going now? Go, go, go. He's nervous. Go, go, go. Nigga, I know that look, bro. I know that look. That nigga's nervous because it's like, you can really, yo, bro. Hey, Phantom, appreciate the five gifts. Appreciate the five gifts, bro. W's in the chat, man. Hey. Thanks for the love, dog. Yo, I know this look. Because I, when I get really nervous on videos, I'm like, fuck, fuck. I just got to go. I just got to go. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. Should I do it? I'm going to do it. Fuck it. Let's go. But I know that, but this is probably way worse. I've never done nothing this crazy. This probably, I could only imagine, bro. But if you're the biggest menace, Nico, you're gonna have to fucking do it, bucko. Oh. Bro. I have one try at this. Bully, if I fail, I'm done. I folded and I lose this series. Dad, you got this, Dad! Rory! 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 Yo, what's that guy doing? So I put the ball down and I locked eyes with Mr. Rory McIlroy, and I said to him, This is how you get a hole in one. Are you ready? I don't know. Rory doesn't seem too happy with somebody. I'm going to do it. What's going on here? Is there a remote control oh. ball there? No! Rory! It was clear Rory didn't want me to put my ball in his hole, but I still had one more chance to put it in there. Please, man. Please, Rory. Rory, stop. It's my dream. Rory! 
<laughs> That's my dream, Rory! Rory McIlroy picked up my ball and threw it into the ocean, never to be seen again, to the bottom of the sea, and it was over for me. Boom! You all suck! Good job, you bro! Suck. That's my dream! You'll get him next time! Oh. You'll you get suck. him next time, hey, man! We just had the biggest goal. Nah, that nigga dead ass missed out on a chance to have like hella new people fuck with him. <laughs> I guess there's no way he could have known. But can you imagine if he was just like a, like, if he was just like, he just had fun with it? Like, oh shit, like, feel me? Like, <laughs> now I get it though, but I low key get it. No, it's not low key. I get it. Nick's, Nick, 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 Nick is at work, feel me? I bet it's hella intense for him because there's a lot of pressure on this nigga because everybody expects him to be the best all the time. And when a nigga's fucking with his flow, feel me? That'd be like a nigga running on the court while LeBron James is about to hit some game-winning free throws. You'd be like, yo, get off the court. So I get it, but at the same time, though, I don't know. I, I'm not going to lie, bro. If I was Rory, I probably would have done the same thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean that Nico failed? Golf in the world, grab our golf ball and throw it into the lake. And it could have all been prevented if Nico just made a hole in one. I knew we couldn't find it. I had one dream. One dream. No. <laughs> you will regret this day, Rory McIlroy. Then as I was being taken off the green, I saw a security guard whip out some handcuffs and I bugged out because I wasn't trying to get arrested by yeah. the security. Then that's when I realized that the person who escorted me off the green wasn't a security guard, it was a full-blown policeman. And when I saw that policeman behind me, I knew it was a long day for me. Listen, I just wanted to be a golfer. What? Nah, these niggas bullying him, bro. <laughs> hey, Nico. Hey, you being bullied by Americans, nigga. Get back. I mean, how we all doing? Peace out, guys. What a freaking loser. Nico. Nico. No. No, 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 no. Nico. Inside a camera. Wow. Look at Nico. He got past security, made it onto the cores, actually got to talk to the goat himself. Rory McIlroy. False. Tiger Woods. And then the whole part of this video, which was for him to get the ball into the hole, he fucked that up, and then nigga was caught, taken away, and then after finally finding him, he found out he had been arrested. Hey, King Roy, they even tier one. We went from police station to police station to try to find out where he was booked. Then after hours of looking, we finally got a call. We coming for you, man. We coming. Oh, you can't save me. I don't have much time. Uh, I got uh, one, one question. What's up? Uh, is, is that a fault? <laughs> well, I mean, you were right there and you didn't miss the hole like three times. You can't do this, man. You know what? Just because you got arrested, it's not a fault. Good job. All right, see you in two days, bro. We're gonna go, uh, I don't know, Vegas. All right. Bring my boy Nico! Now, although Nico didn't get the ball in the hole, we didn't take into account that Rory was a part-time goalkeeper and he got arrested. <laughs> so, no fault. Well done, Nico. Fair play to Jid for getting me arrested for the sake of a YouTube series. But I really, thought to myself and realized that I don't want to do this anymore because the amount of pain I'm going to cause Jid in the next one is going to be crazy. My vengeance will seep through his skin. So the plan is to scare Jid into thinking he's getting cancelled, but worse than that, cancelled by Big his own body. community. I'm colorblind, you know? Like, actually. So the caption says, I like my family melanin free. I'm not even just trying to make me bold. In me. Where I'm from, we will call you an Uncle Tom. A sell out. I am so ashamed of you. <laughs> oh my God.
God. Hey guys, man, be sure to go check out episode one and two over on Nico's channel. He got me arrested over in Paris and I pranked him with his lifelong enemy, Shannon the Cannon Briggs. They're both bangers. Also, if you guys want a chance to win a PS5, make sure that you subscribe to me and Nico nah, and follow us both on IG. This is good content, bro. That's a fucking movie, dog. That's just good shit. That's just really good shit, bro.